Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, in lieu of a, a drunken fucking question and answer, uh, give me a minute. I've got to me the uh, Smirnoff in my Jack Daniels glass. Here we go. I've already been drinking a good bit. <clears throat> Hold on, there's a... There. Just roll with my so-called OCD for a moment. If people like me don't obsess over getting things just right, the rest of you motherfuckers won't have anything right at all. Think about it. Is it really obsessive compulsive disorder or is it an obsessive compulsion to keep things in order? That's not the point of this video. The point is drunken mathematics as opposed to a drunken question and answer. Was it manipulative of me to put an eight-hour time limit on that? Yes, it was. And I'm not ashamed of it at all. There's the video I'm watching. Child's homework puzzle is baffling adults. By Mind Your Decisions. This is the first time I'm seeing this. In this numeric pyramid... You can clearly see that 2 plus 4 equals 6, and 4 plus 3 equals 7, and 6 plus 7 equals 13. <clears throat> that to be how that numeric pyramid to be working, ye. Continuing onward. The number pyramid obeys the following rule. Each number in the middle and top rows is the sum of the two numbers below it. I just said that. We now have another number pyramid. The top row is 40, the middle row is blank and heart, and the bottom row is 7, star, and 9. The question is, what is star plus heart equal to? I saw this problem on Reddit Ask Matt. Yeah, you know, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna say, not play, say that star plus heart equals Kirby Dreamland. I'm not drunk enough for this. Disclaimer: Drinking responsibly. Have something on your stomach. I had a large number of Cheez-Its. And some water along with my mellow yellow. Put something on your stomach before you drink alcoholic beverages and get inebriated. That's a portmanteau. It's a French term. Basically, in the easiest way to explain it, it's where you take two words and you smash them the fuck together to get a new word. The two words I have smashed together, inebriated and lubricated. <clears throat> inebriated. I think I've said that before. My explanation of the portmanteauing of the words.
No, but seriously, getting back to the math problem here. How do we arrive at the answer for the equation atop that pyramid? My first estimate was to take 40, subtract 7 and 9 from it, 7 and 9 being 16, so 40 minus 16, two options I can exercise here, because I didn't set any fucking rules for doing this all in my goddamn head. Fuck that. The most math I've ever used outside of school ever was addition and subtraction. Not even multiplication or division. That's the most math I've ever used in any job I've had. Even that time when I was out in Oklahoma working at a construction site, I didn't use any math there. Except, you know, one player, one person plus another person equals a lot less effort into the job being done because those fucking window under window unit air conditioners in the um, the hotel that we were working to construct were fucking heavy god damn they were heavy motherfuckers weighed over 500 pounds the foreman told me they were roughly 600 pounds but that's fucking heavy just for me and one other person to be lifting that's severely fucking heavy now hold on while I get my calculator my calculator I took an exacto knife and carved my fucking name into it this is some other poor assholes calculator ah well it it's still a Texas instruments ti 36x solar so, that bit there, 40 minus 7 minus 9, that gives us a number to divide between the remaining three blocks. Okay. 40 minus 7 minus 9 is 24. But, that's the same as solving for 3x variables. So, I can't simply go and divide 24 by 3 for the remaining 3 parts of the pyramid. Mostly because... It's not going to be equivalent at all. Because 7 plus star has to equal blank. As you can see there. And then 9 plus star has to equal heart. And then blank plus heart has to equal 40. So... <clears throat> 24. What? Yeah, 24. Why did you crap out on me? Hmm? You're not getting enough light? <laughs> 24 being... What... Do I do next so that 
all three numbers are put in properly. I'm showing my feet. What do I do? Not even... Not even being sober would I know what the fuck to do. It's been so fucking long since I've done any mathematics at all. So... Twenty-four is the equivalent cumulative total of all three unknown blocks. Blank, star, and heart. But the number for star has to be significantly less than blank or heart. Because nine and star has to equal heart, and seven and star has to equal blank, then blank and heart have to equal 40. So... Can't simply divide 40 by 2. That would only give a rough estimate of what each number could be Which would be 20. But that's the maximum that those numbers could be. Because 7 plus star would have to be equal to 20. And I don't think that star is going to be above 10. I could be severely wrong. There is a linear algorithm that could be applied here, but I don't know it. I just know that it exists and it could be applied here. Usually, standard math problems are blank plus or minus blank equals find variable x here. I don't want to start writing shit down, not just yet. That's the brute force lazy method. And I don't want to go to that just yet. Okay. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 for each. But if I plug 8 into star, 7 plus 8 equals 15. So, I most certainly cannot use 8. Because 40 minus 15, 40 minus 15 would be 25. And 8 plus 9 is 17, okay, which would make heart 17 plus 20. Right, 17 plus 25 is 42. Ergo, star cannot be 8.
Well, that's enough of me fucking around. I've wasted 15 minutes of your time with drunken dipshit math. Let's see what this fellow who made this video has to say. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. I've already done that. Ready? Keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. There are many ways to approach this question. Oh dear God, one of the ways appears to be an advertisement break. Thanks, YouTube, Google, and Alphabet. I, I really... I'm just speechless. Other than this monologous, soliloquous dissertation of rambling bullshit, I'm speechless. Okay, I'm done being speechless. That was complete shit. This is perfect moment for me to say, if you want to see this dude's video and solutions, go see it for yourself. I will happily post in the description a link to his video. Why? Because, well, multiple reasons. Let's start with the obvious. I'm not a plagiarist. <laughs> I'm not going to show you his entire fucking video just to be a dick and post it as my own fucking content. That would be fucking stupid, disrespectful, dishonorable. That would show a virulent lack of self-control on my part. It wouldn't be respectful at all. And he's doing math. Mental abuse to humans. M-A-T-H. He's doing math. So, you go and get mentally abused watching his video. After watching mine, of course. Or if you've already seen his video, maybe you're just watching this and I hope you get a nice shit-filled titter giggle guffaw chuckle out of it. Fucking hell. I'm gonna get drunker and then I'm gonna go and play Monster Hunter World while drunk. So, this is unsatisfying. <clears throat> I didn't come up with an answer to the fucking math problem at all. Only a potential vector of assault. Go watch the dude's video where he solves it for you. Or come up with your own solution. Then go watch his video where he solves it for you and see if you were right. And I have yet to post the first two Monster Hunter videos I recorded on Twitch. So the third video, whenever it goes out, you will get Drunken Idiot versus Monster Hunter World. Expect the usual dipshittery and shenanigans that I employ. Not that one time where I was on both being drunk and on my hydro... Uh, whatever the fuck it is. It's basically two steps below fucking controlled substance narcotic. It's an anti-stress, anti-anxiety medication. <laughs> 
I'm on three of those. <laughs> and any YouTuber who isn't, you have got the fucking lottery one in regards to stress management. <laughs> Okay, I'm done now. I, I've, I've got to end this video before I just waste everyone's time even more. Watch that dude's video. Keep an eye out for my Monster Hunter World videos as well as this third one, which will be me drunkenly playing Monster Hunter World. Maybe with Joe. I don't fucking know. What time is it? Is he even awake right now? Till next time, good night, Tracy.